Hi, this is Rodney with Mercer Online. I want to talk to you for a little bit about presentations and how they're delivered in online courses. In the past, you just uploaded PowerPoint presentations into your online course, right? Well, maybe that's not the best way to handle things. What if you wanted to update that PowerPoint presentation? Then you'd have to work on it on your computer and then re-upload it into your online course. What if there was a way that you could work on your PowerPoint presentation and be done with it? Just save your presentation and then it's automatically updated and pushed out to your online course. It'd be pretty cool, huh? Well, you can do it. And you can make it so students can access your PowerPoint presentations regardless of whether or not they have PowerPoint installed on their computer. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? What do you do? Well, you're going to upload the presentation to your Google Drive. Then, we're going to take that presentation, convert it into a Google Format presentation, and then embed it into the online course. I know, sounds like a lot, but it's not. Watch. So I'm going to go into my Presentations folder here, and I'm going to bring in a file that I've created. So I've got a file. It is a copyright presentation on copyright, Creative Commons, etc. So I'm going to drag that over here and drop it. And now, my file has been uploaded, and you'll see, here it is. And Google recognizes it as a PowerPoint presentation, hence the little PowerPoint icon. Now, if I want to make this into a Google presentation, what I would do is just click on the checkbox, and then over here where it says More on this drop-down, click on that and select Open With, and then select Google Slides. And this is going to convert my presentation into a Google Slides format. And once my presentation has been converted, it's now here on my screen. So I've got it set. I'm ready to put it into my course. Believe it or not, it's already ready to go. So if I come here and I click on File and select Publish to the Web, this is going to give me the opportunity to actually publish my material and make it visible. So I click on Start Publishing and it asks me, am I sure I want to publish it? And I say, absolutely. Click the OK button. Now, this screen pops up and from this screen I get to set my options. If I want to make the presentation of a different size, say maybe make it smaller, like 480 by 389, or make it really big, I can do that. I'm going to leave it at the default, which is 960 by 749. And then I'm going to grab this embed code right here. Now I've clicked on it and it automatically selects it, and I'm going to just copy that. So it's Control C, or you can right click and select Copy, and then click Close. So now I've got this ready, and I'm going to go into my course in Blackboard. Now I'm inside of Blackboard, and I'm going to click on the Build Content link. And what I want to create is just a blank page in Blackboard. So I click on Blank Page. And I'm going to enter the title of my page, which is going to be the title of my presentation. And then, inside of the content area, if I click on the HTML editor right here, this is going to bring up the HTML code view. I know, I know, I know, I said the word code. Don't freak out, it's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to paste the code that we created inside of Google Docs. Remember when we copied that? Now we're going to paste it. And to paste, you can right click and select Paste and now you'll see there's the code that we just copied over from Google Docs. Now if I click Update, you'll see that your screen turns yellow right inside of that content box. Now what do you do? Well, just click Submit and let's see what happens. So I've submitted it and here it is. It appears inside a Blackboard. Now if I want to look at it and see how it would look as a student, I'd simply turn off Edit Mode. Now you see, here's my file. Here's my presentation. Let's see what it looks like. Drum roll! Boom! Here's my presentation, and I'm going to resize my window here so you can see it better. If I scroll down and look at the very bottom of this, not only do my students get to see my presentation exactly as I created it, and they can navigate through it using the forward and back buttons, but also, if they click on the cog here, this gives them the option to download this presentation as a PDF. So now we don't have to go and create a second PDF document. We don't have to go and do anything. It's already printer friendly. It's already ready to go for our students. All we have to do is leave it as it sits. 
Now I know what you're saying. Rodney, I need to make an edit on this thing. Something went wrong. I'm not happy with this. Or maybe my content's changed. My textbook has changed since last time I used this. What do I do? Well, if you go into your Google Drive and open up your presentation again, and this time we're going to open up the one, not the PPTX file. We're going to open up the actual Google presentation one. Click on that. And when it loads, you can go in and you can do any edits you want. For instance, I'm going to change the word and here to an ampersand. And I'm going to save my work, which it automatically does. So I'm back inside of my course. I'm turning edit mode back off so I can look. And I click on copyright, creative, Com fair use, creative commons, and you. And notice, the update that I just made inside of the Google Drive is changed already in my course. I don't have to do anything inside of my course again. Oh my god, that may be the coolest thing ever. So think about it. In your online course, you don't upload a bunch of videos, do you? No. You link to them. You link to a video out on YouTube or some other site. You embed the video into the course. Now we're doing the same thing with PowerPoint presentations, and we're enabling you to be able to edit that presentation from anywhere. So if you're on a computer somewhere else, or if you get a different computer, you can go into Google Docs and you can edit that presentation wherever you are. Yeah, it's just that awesome.